next. Okay, let's talk more about the latest economic information out of China, plus the ongoing China-African summit. From, for that, we now turn to Yan Liang. She joins us via Skype. She is the chair professor in economics at Willamette University. Uh, Yan Liang, always a pleasure. Thank you for uh, chatting with us again. Good to talk to you, Sean. Let's begin with the latest consumer data coming out of China. What's your take on it? China is making a push, we all know that now, for higher quality, more innovation. And a lot of economists are saying the information coming out right now uh, is mixed. But uh, clearly, a lot of the focus that is on uh, the high technology, the greater innovation, is surging forward. Right. I think you're right. Um, so again, let's remind ourselves that China has embarked on this transition and trying to upgrade its economy and achieve the green transition. And so the growth target is set at about 5% this year. And so far, I think we're looking at, you know, first half of the year, we have grown more than 5%. Second quarter, 4.7%, you know, uh, stopped down a little bit. And then you look at the most da recent data. I think, first of all, I think the PMI data shows that both the Taishin and the official data show the composite index is in the expansionary zone. And for manufacturing, the Taishin shows an in expansionary, so it's 50.4 reading uh, in August. So as you mentioned, this is, you know, above that uh, 50 benchmark. Mm. So I think overall it's doing fine. And of course, the number could be stronger, but let's know that, you know, the PMI usually indicates the sentiment and one thing I think is interesting is that, you know, despite the sort of relatively low sentiment, we're still seeing the industrial output growth has been really strong, you know, 5.1 percent in the first seven months. So it's quite interesting. I think there's some seasonal factors. You know, August is typically the, the, the time right. when you have floods, you have hot weather. And so I think that in some ways affects the service sector, as you just mentioned. Um, but, you know, one thing to note, just echo what you just said, the high tech manufacturing's PMI reading uh, based on the official PMI, you know, is a much better uh, number. It's 51.7. So that just indicates that the industrial sector is upgrading, and I think that is a great sign. 